Hi, welcome. In this video, I'm going to discuss about Trigger. Let me re read this out. A Trigger is a stored program which activates automatically before or after when an event like insert, update, or delete occurs with the associated table. Before triggers are used to validate before change occurs, after triggers are used to end to change or update after triggers activated. There are six types of triggers, before insert, after insert, before update, after update, and before delete, after delete. In this video, I'm gonna show before insert and after insert trigger. It is obvious that triggers are created on the table. So I have already drafted there's some syntax for the table. I have a table name staff. It has an ID name and waste columns. And this staff is under the database my office. Let's compile this course to make the table and database. We have a database my office ready and table staff. Let's create before insert trigger. Create trigger. Trigger name is before insert. And the situation is before insert on table name stop for each row so what happens here the triggers goes thoroughly so it is mandatory to write for each row and we have to mention the situation before insert or after insert or something like that and give the name of the trigger and begin in and in between begin and in, that should be the logic. Before that, we have to write here delimiter and in here. It is very similar similar to Easter procedure. So the, the, the logic goes uh, in between begin and in. So what I'm doing now, if the wage is less than 10, then I'm making the wage 10. So 10 is the minimum wage for now. Uh, so our trigger makes whatever the wage is smaller than 10, it makes 10. For that, I'm using if statement, if new wage is less than 10, then then set new ways equal to 10. This is the logic. This is the if statement. So in if. Okay. Uh, this is start table already. Uh, do like this. Let's uh, start over. Drop database my office. Oh, sorry, my staff, my office. Drop database my office. Okay. Now create database and table everything. Now create a uh, trigger. It's also created. Now the trigger is already here. The condition is if we insert the value of wage less than 10, it becomes 10. Insert into 
step table it has an id name and ways so id is one name is mike and let's suppose uh wage is five only values okay it went through select all from start table okay we inserted here the wage is five but here which became 10 this is because of this trigger trigger said says if the wage is less than 10 it should be 10. so uh, sometimes what happened if we have uh, something like this condition then we can use a before insert table and as per this before insert trigger sorry so as per the definition before trigger are used to validate before changes occurs so what happened here this trigger validated the condition and the result is this one so whatever the data we put less than 10 it becomes 10 now drop this uh, trigger. Trigger name is before insert. Drop this. It is dropped now. So this is all about uh, before insert trigger. Now I'm going to show another example after insert. After insert trigger. For that. I am creating another table. So what I am going to do, I insert some data into this staff table, but my trigger insert the same data into the new table without inserting physically there. For that, I am creating new table. I have already drafted here a table to save the time. Uh, let's make a copy put here so this is the lookup table and actually this is the reference table to the staff so lookup table lookup table has a column employee id and the name this employee id is similar to the id column to the staff table staff table that's why this employee id is foreign key to the staff table id so this lookup table is smaller it has only two column employee id and the name and this is the reference table from the staff table so whatever data i'm inserting into staff table that goes to lookup table 2 due to the trigger let's create the trigger the way is same uh, let's uh, to save the time a copy copy paste create trigger trigger name of the trigger is after insert after insert and the condition is after insert on the table staff go to for his row begin in in so here my logic is insert into new table lookup and values the values will be uh, new id actually in the lookup table there is an uh, employee id the new id and the name new name uh, in the logic there is only single sql statement uh, in inside the uh, begin and uh, end so we don't need this delimiter for the single statement and the pair of the delimiter 
begin in that's all we need for the single statement okay now let's create the lookup table it went through let's create the trigger it went through now i am inserting data into the main table step insert into star table star table has the column uh, id id2 name main is sum and the wage suppose wage is 11 11 uh, name id id name and wage in the star table that I'm inserting name uh, ID name in the width okay let's see uh, this in the table select all from staff table we can see here Uh, what happened here? It says uh, the manual correspondent. Okay, let me pick this one. Oh, here should be the values. Sorry about that. Okay. We see here uh, the same thing. Value two, sum and eleven here, and this we inserted in the, into the main table stuff. Now we want to see the changes into lookup table also. We have we did nothing on the lookup table. Uh, lookup table. So this data should be there too from lookup. Here two n sum. Because uh, as per the tree, uh, our condition, the data goes to ID and the name only. So ID and the name in lookup table two. So this is after insert trigger. Now let's see the definition. After triggers are used to in to change or update after triggers activated. So what happened here? So this trigger after insert activated and it gives the result to lookup table here. So we did we did nothing on the lookup table, but due to, due to this trigger, the data went into lookup table too. That's all about uh, after insert uh, trigger and the before insert trigger. So other trigger uh, before update and after update, I'll talk about uh, I'll talk it another video thank you for watching see you in another video